Okay, well, I'm gonna be checking out Pikmin 1. Let me know how the volume is, as Switch games can be weird with volume sometimes. So, if it's too loud, let me know. But if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking, and... Yeah, I mean, because this is a GameCube game, it's something I never got to experience, really, so I was never into the series, and... Since this now has a collection... I figured it was worth a look. I just waited until the physical copy came out because, you know, I'm in Australia. And it's cheaper to get physical copies. <laughs> I vaguely know what this game is about, I just I don't really know much about gameplay. I think the reason I hesitated with this was just because it looked like an RTS and I'm not good at RTS type games. But we'll see, maybe, maybe it's not that bad. So it's a pretty good time to get into it, as they have 1 and 2 and 3 on the Switch, and then the new one, so. If I get into it, then, then hey, at least I already have number 2. Not sure how long the game is. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet with so many parts lost. The skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmosphere sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high level of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no. I better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Oh. Wait. I'm just getting used to it. This is interesting. The aiming. How would this have worked with the GameCube? Because the GameCube only has... Hmm. What is this? A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. Okay. There are no Rick Pickman. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. <laughs> okay. Extraordinary, when I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots. I've l I love so much, I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A. And I will call it to my side with B. Hmm. Perhaps I, it will react to pressing X. We're moving with L and R as well. 
The following controls allow me several viewpoints. Snap, camera behind Olimar. Zoom, change perspective. Okay. What the hell? Okay. This is bizarre. Astonishing, the onion has sown more seeds. The red pellet, the Pikmin harvested after cutting down the flower, appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to need some sort of incubator. Needless to say, I will study the strange life one more. Oh, okay. And then... <laughs> it's so weird. And... Okay, so now I got a little army of them. I'll wait for them to propagate. <laughs> this is not what I expected. I mean, okay, it's kind of RTS-y, but it's not really that crucial. At least not yet. They're like ants, yeah. I thought they were going to be like lemmings, that's why I was worried, or I would have to guide them, but they seem to be semi-autonomous. Why are these in red? Put red Pikmin in. What that do? Should I have done that? Take red Pikmin out. some of them like a pale color though the Pikmin are as curious as children they form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual and glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart if I can make use of their skills perhaps I can fix my ship I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct Approach and then hold A to pick sprouts. A to grab them. X to... Oh, A to grab and release to throw. B to call them. X to dismiss. Okay. Then move... Okay, hold... Well, holding L to command. To control the group. Use ZL or up, down, left, right. Okay. Each color does different things. Huh. What do we have here? It's a ship part. 
Amazing, there's a mistake in my ship's engine rests before my eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I've already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get back to the dolphin? I love that it's called the dolphin. Oh, you need 20. Jeez. Alright, come on, knock it off. We don't have enough. This looks pretty visually not. You know the the thing is, this is a GameCube game that's been remastered, and it still looks better than <laughs> than Pokemon games with textures. Like this is better grass than what you would get in a modern Pokemon game, and that's. I know I, I throw shade at Pokemon. I love Pokemon games, but man, they can do better. When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get all done at once by holding A. And then it's when I add Pikmin to my group. They become filled with excitement and flush with a bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give up a dim glow. Pay paying close attention to these differences is bound to distinguish between Pikmin. They could, but they know people are going to still buy it. Pretty much. Okay, I have 21 now. <laughs> I mean, yeeting them is, is pretty fun. Alright, they'll get hit. They'll get hit slowly. This is oddly satisfying to watch. Glorious, with the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. Crusty ro sounding rocket. One day since impact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin. But I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface? Or have they merely decided to join me for some other reason? 
Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hercotates. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below, as it holds the keys to my survival. I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. Oh. We have, like, old log. Okay, so you can... Wait, according to this, it says there's one more part in the area, or am I reading it wrong? It says stars, unless it's a rating. Alright, let's just start the second one. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. Okay, I see. So bizarre. What is this? like this are they all gonna try okay ah uh. Another intriguing discovery, a local variety of grass introduces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they instantly mature into the flowers. This apparent Pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observation is needed to determine the strengths of this... the peculiarities of these flower Pikmin. Sunlight. gonna help against this maybe launch them that far?
I mean, one of these barricades has to go down. We're trying. Oh wait, no, it's working, it's working. <laughs> it's just very slow. Very, very slow. So doing that. Oh, there's a S stray friend. Oh, you can just hold it like that. Okay. I guess I gotta be careful here. No, no, no. Oh, God. Uh oh. What do I do against <laughs> the things that eat? That's how it works. Got it. Just murder. Okay, and you can help. Well, that's that's neat. You can do that to make a move quicker. Okay, I figured it out. Just keep yeeting them until the target goes down. Get him! <laughs> Just ambush. I think we lost one Pikmin, but, you know, it happens. Sort of. It's not strict with the aiming, which is nice. My clock is indicating the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor. Oh, shit. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and the de display. In the bottom, spacesuit damage meter and Pikmin gauges. Okay. So just so I'm I can move the camera. Ooh, I'm kind of worried about, like, this game having a time constraint ultimately.
What are they gonna do, eh? Okay. I'm guessing those things kill the Pikmin as well. quickly. This one might be a bit more tricky. I think I need to lure them. Should be so ballsy with this, but go for it. Okay. I mean, could have could have gone worse. Wait, what are they doing? What are they doing with the bodies? <laughs> what what are they? You can do stuff with the bodies. Hold on. Oh, now I'm curious. What are they going to do with the bodies? <laughs> this is going to be very morbid. Oh, okay. Recycle- yeah, no, like... Converting them. Not expecting that. I mean, circle of life, I guess. Day's almost over. Move this quickly. I'm curious if they're good enough to break this now. time left. This is a ship part, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. 
The clock is indicating the approach of sunset. The Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin the onions will probably enter the on their own, but if I don't call the stragglers to my group, they may not be able to get back. I am sure the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I am somewhat concerned leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in darkness. Okay, it, it's fine, just... Oh my god, I had a whole bunch of them here. Come on. Help, 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 help. Oh, it's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It has unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. Oh, there's a straggler. Hey. Straggler. Come on. We don't have, we don't have time. Oh, there's another one here. Oh god. <laughs> Eternal Fuel Dynamo should light things up. Never candle for me. I have now recovered two out of 30 parts. If I can just find three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. No. Holy crap. Talk about cutting it close. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> Alright. I cut it a little, little bit close. I wasted a lot of time on that wall there. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, I left one behind. Damn it. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I'd only have to press plus to locate my parts. Yeah, there seem to be many hostile life forms here. If I'm attacked by my space suit, it takes damage, I must return to my ship. Stand in front of it, press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter on the bottom left. One lost in battle, two left behind. It's okay. I'm not gonna be perfect. So there's still more parts left in this particular area. This is fun. Okay. I guess I'll get better at it. I mean, I still suck at these kind of games. <laughs> Just anything that involves controlling multiple units, but it's, it's not too bad. I think what I need to do is just do multiple things at once. I don't know if we can take that thing on. Like, I feel like I need the whole army for this. It just seems a little bit tricky to be able to do that. Oh, Pikmin, you fools. Wow, they got through it without waking it up. Not very good on the stealth. Oh, 
Ah, I messed up. So now we have to fight this thing, I'm guessing. I will go with the full army. Hold on. Fuck him up! Oh boy. We're gonna lose a lot in combat here. <laughs> Carry the body! Very morbid, but, you know, it is what it is. Circle of life. Get it. I just need to do multiple actions at once. <laughs> just this part here. So, damn, dude. They they mulch the enemies and just yeah, convert them. Still working on that barricade. Okay. They're done. Ooh, this might be bad. I need to lure it. There we go, there we go. Come here, come here, come here. Alright, don't be afraid. Take the bodies. They can deal with that. Alright, rest of the army. Hang on, does this work? I don't think that's doing anything. Alright. Attack army! Alright, got him. <laughs> oh, we have yellow Pikmin now. All right, complexity increase. Color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what, in some circles, could be considered. Very large is. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different than the red Pikmin? I must be sure to observe it closely. I can hold a Pikmin for a moment with A and then swap to another pressing R. Oh, okay. There we go. Hmm. 
Can it do something with this? Oh, it can. The yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. What are these strange glowing stones? Brightly going cracks over them. Perhaps, perhaps cracks indicate this tremendous power. The explosives? Aha. Uh -huh. The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin picked up seems to be explosive stones. We have seen know these stones can be used as powerful weapons. Bomb rocks are dangerous. So I must take care when using them. I must be vigilant. When I throw a bomb rock carrying Pikmin and give them orders, they will toss their bomb rocks at explosive walls or obstacles. Alright, got it. The hell is that? Like, will this take it over to its thing? Oh yeah, there we go. So this is how I can make more of those. I need to make more yellow ones. I have way too many red. I mean, I guess I can leave these here. I don't have to get them. Like, I'm gonna need more yellows to throw. What does that sound? There's all these random sound effects, I'm not sure what they mean. It's okay, it'll be worth it. Okay. Let me just do it again. And then hopefully with the small amount I have, it should be enough. I can get him working on two things at once. Oops, no, 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 wrong, wrong color. So this thing can probably initiate a battle. <laughs> can probably initiate a battle. Okay. I'll go throw the two yellows.
One. There we go. <laughs> Just need more of these little dudes. Oh, it's almost the end of the. It's almost the end of a day. I haven't gone far enough. All right, we're just gonna have to go. I feel like with this, I'm definitely gonna run out of time. <laughs> okay, it does work. Take the body. Okay. No. Hang on. Is it gonna get it? Uh oh. Alright, screw it. Just go, just go. We don't have much time. I'll be fine. No, I need to head back. I need to head back. Come on. What the fuck? Follow. Oh, I may have messed this up. This time constraint is, t is stressing me out. I may have left a whole bunch of them behind here. That's, you know what, I was, I was expecting worse. The time constraint thing I think is going to be the biggest, uh... Ugh. Definitely gonna have problems with this.
Hopefully the things that I destroyed remain dead. I mean, I don't think I need to get more out for the army. Okay. At least most of the yellow Pikmin survived. Let's get more yellow. Well, that's about right. I'm gonna wait for them to sprout. Multiple bombs, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? What is happening? Hey! Is this from the- is this is something I need to do from the other side. They are not the brightest. I'm gonna load. <laughs> they seem to have gotten confused. The pathfinding is not great. A bunch of them just died because they just decided to walk to the side, I guess. Like, okay. <laughs> oh crap, I went to the first area. But you know what, it's fine because... I have bombs now. So I can probably do something here anyway. Okay. Also waiting. Oh, it's like dropping sap. Are they still chasing that thing? They're still chasing that thing. <laughs> I mean, let them let do their thing. Oh, 
Yeah, the, pro the problem is they don't path well. I got a bunch of them that got lost. There we go. Suspicious. I mean, everyone help. Okay, except... Except you, I guess. Interesting. <laughs> Let's see if I can do more with that whilst they're carrying. I mean, I get it, it's a GameCube game. But the thing that I'm fi- this is the part that I'm finding a little frustrating right now, is just sometimes they just- they don't just follow, they just go down a stray path. you guys carry that. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. I need them to break down that door. Most of them don't even make it up here. Look at this. Look how many were following me. Look at how many actually made it up here. I've met it, another Pikmin related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onions stopped expelling seeds. If the total number of Pikmin continue to climb, it seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seed gets stored in the onion. Thus, no more Pikmin can be on the field at any given time. Did they really just get stuck there? Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe I just gotta give up on <laughs> trying to get them all to follow. It seems to be a lost, a lost cause. Uh oh. Is there anything else now? Guess not. I'm trying to see if there's a pathway I haven't gone down. If this was a waste, I'm gonna load, because I need to get off this planet in 30 days. I thought that was another part on this stage. I think that's the part over there. I just won't be able to get it yet. Okay, <laughs> this, this is getting some time to get used to it. <sighs> I just don't want to waste a day. I get the feeling I'm going to need every last day to do this. Going to the other wall this time. is ready. All right, they can stay there. Just backups, just in case. I should only need three. I guess there's a fourth one here. Attack! Ambush! <laughs> I 
Keep respawning. Away. It still needs one more. Jeez, this thing is heavy. Explosive rocks. All right, bring forth the army. There's more to the. Wait, what happens if I get this? Can they go pick this up? I think they can. Oh, you. It's my whimsical radar. With this, I'll be able to see nearby ship parts in a single glance. I just press plus to check it. Ah. Where are they taking it? Help them out!
Did we leave anyone behind? Let's just make sure. Got it. So, I mean, I was slightly off. Whimsical radar. This is this important part can detect locations of other missing parts. The radar will be added to my monitor. And now I've recovered three out of thirty parts. If I can just find two more. Okay, so the day does the day does not have to end here. Probably do a little more. I'll need the army to ambush. Get rid of them. Alright, we don't have time for this. We need action. Don't worry about the dead bodies. This thing's gonna take forever. I might not be able to take this thing down. I don't know if there's any explosives in the area. As long as I take this wall down. This is with all, all of them working this hard. Okay, we're gonna head back. Unless they can brute force this wall somehow. not gonna work. 
Uh oh. I have doomed these poor little suckers. Is there really no explosive anywhere else? Time to put them away. They're somewhat responsible, except for the disaster that happened in the top corner. pathfinding in this. They just get stuck on random corners so easily. <laughs> I did my best. Sims impact, the Pikmin that I did not bring back to the Onion all vanished overnight. It may well be that they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures, an ugly thought. Perhaps that is why they follow me into the atmosphere. I'm starting to grasp the cycles of this planet. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard. Because <laughs> I get stuck. Okay. I'll bring fifty with me. And three. Keep two spare. Oh what? No, that thing oh, but I guess this is good because the balls are back. Alright, we will... We will get life back from this. Take the body back. Let's see what's up here. Okay, I need another army. Same thing, but this time I should be able to get it done. Let's just get that army.
Yeah, I'm not bothering with that. I need to get a move on. Okay. They've got that covered. How am I looking at stuff? Oh, it's fun. There's a couple of things about it that are tedious, but that's probably just a result of it being an older game. It's mainly these little creatures just getting stuck on corners super easily. So getting them to all follow. I need I need a few more. It can be a little tedious. But otherwise a lot of fun. I'm sure the series improved this. Like, the sequel probably made it a bit better. be enough to move it. I'm gonna get a couple more yellows. There's no flowers, no? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I thought there were flowers. It's alright, let him hop in. <laughs> oh yeah, see, there's... look. This is what I mean, look at this. This just keeps happening. They just get stuck on random things. Another part done. This bolt's bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. I now have recovered 4 out of 30 parts. If I can just find one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Alright, let's roll. Oh yeah, no, that's that's fun. <laughs>
there's another piece over there. I just need to get through this battle. Okay. Set it up. We're not interested in that. I found the Nova Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light, capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that it its blast can travel the currents of space-time, smashing through stars and into the rest of space. Stop it. Are they all helping? No. No! Get back on it! There we go. I just need the one yellow Pikmin. Alright, good. This makes up for the day where I didn't really get to do much. Alright, this Pikmin will work on this barricade now. We will... Solo demolishing crew. I mean, sure, they're gonna have to go the long way around, but that's fine. That's the thing I don't understand, is when they're taking something back home to the ship, they have absolutely perfect pathing. But then when they're trying to find me, they just struggle. Like, they figure it out when they have to take stuff back to the ship. Well, in terms of following me, they just can't do it. Oh, buddy, since you've got a little bit of time on your hands, you may as well do this. Yeah, go pick one up. We might be able to get that other part that's up there. I don't know if I should risk it. feel better now. <laughs> this is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it blasts can... It can blast stars in tiny pieces. That is a strange allure. Hooray. I don't know if we can do anything else, but... Now that this long path is gone... Maybe. They can't reach up there. Alright, in that case, just... Let's just make fertilizer out of these things. Mulch them.
It's a little morbid, but it is what it is. Circle of life. Use this to make it another yellow Pikmin. Yeah, it's time to gather them. May as well. And they got time. Alright, it's gathering time. That's a lot of them. being all responsible with my Pikmin. I bet one's still gonna get left behind, like... I can just see it coming. There's gonna be someone that straggled. I got caught on a random wall somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Alright. <laughs> Am I gonna leave without... Any casualties? Let's see. I mean, in terms of leaving them behind. I caught up in terms of parts, so that's good. I think I did it, I think. Five days since impact, with its newly increased functions, the dolphin now lifts higher into this planet's atmosphere. I see a great depression in the woods beneath me. It looks like a belly button in this vast forest. Now that my ship is more stable, I should be able to settle down there. Another stage. I left behind... Zero? Yeah, nothing left behind today. I did it. <laughs> okay. Well, this was a pretty good start to this. But I'm getting hungry. I need to get some food. And it's been like five and a half hours. So I'm going to leave it here. But I'll definitely do more of this later at the usual evening time. But anyway, if you're watching this later on YouTube and if you enjoyed it, uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. And if you want to support the channel, just remember to 
hit buttons like the ones that have the thumbs up on them. It helps out a lot. And if you want to watch me play something else in the meantime, I'm sure two other videos of mine have popped up. But yeah, till next time, bye YouTube.